What's going on guys, Triple M here again and today I got another quick video for you and this is part of my Nvidia Shield Ultimate Setup Playlist. Now this is video number 4 and in this video I'm just going to show you guys how to add storage to your Nvidia Shield. So a lot of you guys went out and purchased the Nvidia Shield. Uh, it was on sale on Black Friday, I believe it was $149, uh, the cheapest model with the remote and the downside to that is it only came with 16 gigs of storage. So that poses a big problem because before you know it you start installing applications you have a couple files on here and you're out of storage so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add additional storage to your drive and this is not just external storage this is adaptive storage so this shield will see the storage as an internal storage that it can install applications on store files and make it accessible to you now of course this drive or storage that you use it could be a USB drive portable hard drive whatever you decide to use it will need to be dedicated to the NVIDIA Shield. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So before I jump into the actual setup, big shout out to my subscribers first of all. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, of course, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the top right. Also hit that notification bell guys, that way when a new video or giveaway is released, you will be notified. So I'm in the shield right now guys, video number one was the unboxing, video number two was the actual walkthrough and uh, some basic applications that you can retrieve from the Google Play Store to install. And of course video number three was released earlier tonight and that video covers the top streaming apps that you will need for your shield. So this of course covers through MTV, Mob Joe, you have Live Net TV, you have Send Anywhere, you also have Side Launcher, and also Snappy Streams, and a bunch of other ones, guys. Let me go into the actual interface and show you where they are. So let me go into the Silo Launcher. And these are just some of the apps. So I do have Happy Chick there, and that's probably the best emulator, guys. You can play any game on here from N64, PlayStation, Super Nintendo, a bunch. Also have MX Player. Plex, of course, that came pre installed. Showbox, Snappy Streams, Send Anywhere, also have Swift Streams, and just a bunch of different applications that you'll need for your system, guys. So go ahead and check that video out. Definitely a must see video, in my opinion, if you have a shield. So let's go back home. And in that video, I'll also show you guys how to add these applications to the main menu here in the apps because uh, by default, these apps will not pop up here guys you will have to use a special application to move them here so um, check that video out if you guys need instructions on that so first thing you have to do guys make sure your storage is plugged in I will be demonstrating on the SSD right now uh, 256 gigs uh, if you guys have a different storage or you need recommendations just let me know I'll probably put a link in the description of this SSD solid state drive that I have plugged into my system right now so once that's plugged in you want to go down to your settings you can go down to storage and reset and you can see right here it has the device storage and only have 11 gigs left guys so um, definitely gonna be a problem in the very near future <laughs> okay so um, we do have a USB storage drive right there and you do have some options right here to use USB storage over the network storage not gonna get into that right now but for this video we're gonna go to our removal storage click there and we're going to set up as device storage. Click there. And it tells you on the left that this requires USB drive to be formatted to make it secure. After securely formatting, this drive will only work with this device. Formatting will erase all data currently stored on your drive. To avoid losing data, consider backing it up. So if you have files on this drive, you need to back it up or just kiss it goodbye. <laughs> so go ahead and click format when you see that message and this could take a couple minutes guys what I'm gonna do is just uh, speed up the video a little bit but I will be uh, just telling you guys how long it actually took so enjoy the music alright so that part actually didn't take long <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and click move now
All right, so it just completed, guys, and uh, there it is. Uh, internal storage, USB drive, and you can see the total storage right now is 235 gigs SSD that I plugged in and do have additional 11 on the internal drive. So that's how easy it is, guys. So once you get this installed and get this set up, this drive is dedicated to your NVIDIA Shield and you can use it as you would for your main storage. So that's it for this video, guys. Just a quick run through of how to add adaptive storage to your NVIDIA Shield. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Also drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what videos you want me to do next in the series of videos for the NVIDIA Shield Ultimate Setup. And I look forward to reading your comments. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.